Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video I'm going to be introducing to you a new project for the channel. So this is going to be more of a bees for build kind of project. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome, one of my favorite YouTube channels. Go check them out, bees for build. Chris does some awesome builds. He makes awesome content. Uh, so go check him out. But this is going to be that kind of style build. So this is a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, I won it at an auction. Um, and there's some damage to it, I'll show you in a second. So what we're going to be doing is fixing it, getting it inspected, getting it roadworthy, and then doing some mods to it as well. Um, so I'm going to take you guys on a quick walk around of the car. Uh, there's already some stuff done to it, so we're going to do a quick walk around. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this project. I know some of you guys won't, some of you guys will. Uh, it'll probably bring some new viewers to the channel, but... Uh, Anyway, this is the start, so let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the car, and this is pretty much everything that we have to work on right here. So it needs a new fender. Uh, it didn't come with a fender, so we'll need a new fender. Pretty much the only damage to it is the hood right here. Now we could pull it out, but it's not really worth my time. I can get a new hood for relatively cheap, so we're going to get a new hood, new fender. Um, this piece down here just has to be reattached. Um, like same with in the grill here, it just has to be reattached. Uh, pretty much everything else is good. We're gonna need a new fender liner, um, but pretty much like I say, everything else is good. The rest of the car is all good. Like I say, this is a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. It does have an aftermarket exhaust on it. I'll do a startup for you in a second. Shout out to Locals. Uh, check those that go, those those guys out on YouTube as well. Huge YouTube channel, awesome guys. But uh, anyway, it is a open it up here. It is a stick shift. It's gonna be pretty awesome. We do have a check engine light, and I pulled the code on it, um, but it is just for an O2 sensor, and I'm pretty sure it's got to do with the aftermarket exhaust. So uh, we'll have to figure that out. But other than that, this is pretty much it. So I'll do a startup for you guys here quickly. Uh, it's getting kind of late, so I don't want to make it too loud. But uh, we'll do a startup here for you guys. And then that'll probably be it for this video. And we'll come back to you when we start working on it. So as you can see here, on the inside, we've got a, uh, we do have a check engine light. It says service required, check engine light, whatever, whatever. So we're gonna have to deal with those. But other than that, the car runs great and uh, sounds really good in my opinion. It's not too ricey or fart canny. But uh, yeah, when it, once it, when it starts up, it's kind of loud, but as it, uh, as it idles out, it's much better. 